Do you want to grow your small business? Are you tired of your current job and want to start your own business? If so, I've got good news for you. Small Business Marketing Talk Show is a new show designed to give new and emerging business owners tips and hints to grow your small business. Renowned authors Dr. Jack McCann and Dr. Daryl Green host an entertaining show that answers your everyday questions. Now, here's our hosts for today with Dr. Jay McCann and Dr. D. Green. Welcome to the Small Small Business Marketing Talk Show, where we discuss everything small business related. How to get started, why to get started, and everything in between. I'm here with Dr. Jack McCann and Dr. Daryl Green today, and thank you to our viewers for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about side hustles, how you can make money off of your circumstances. Everybody has a circumstance. Everybody's got something going. How can you make money off of that? That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Topics will include what is a side hustle, reasons to get started, how to get started, but before we do that, Dr. J, Dr. D, a few introductory questions. Tell me, what exactly is a side hustle? Let's get into it. Well, COVID-19 COVID has really hurt our economy in the United States and, and, and abroad. And I would say it's going back to the old days. My parents both had two or three jobs to make ends meet. So you got your main, your main job uh, that you're paying your bills and you, and you might do something on the side uh, I don't know. Some of you've always had side gigs. Avon, anybody sell Avon? <laughs> Mary Kay, Mary Kay. <laughs> got that got that pink Cadillac. So yeah. I think I think we I think we've done that. Some some people have, you know, even the even, even the little kids that uh, world's finest chocolate. They got a side hook because they're selling those they're selling that chocolate candy to get to get a treat. And I just think I just think it's it's the it's what we're gonna do now with the gig economy that we that we've written about. So uh, that that is really it's it's, uh, it's something that that goes uh, beyond uh, your, your your regular paycheck. Uh, Doctor Jack, what do you say about that? <clears throat> it's everything from the part time job to those gigs that that musical bands would would put together on the weekends and part time. But mm -hmm. you know, with with the with the gig economy, many people are finding that they can make more money putting together a number of gigs than they did when they were working a full-time job. You know, it's just finding the thing that you like to do and something that fits with your personality and your interests and skills. So part-time work is what we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Dr. Jack, I, I want to mention, I was uh, traveling, uh, uh, I believe in one of those big cities. I don't know if I was in New York and I bet this guy, he was driving Uber. As a matter of fact, I saw all those taxi cloud dry, uh, cars, and I said the Uber drivers, and I met this guy, and he said he had quit his managing job to to work Uber, and he was doing that full time. So it can be it can be very lucrative. This gig economy that we're talking about. Interesting, very so, interesting. Where do you start with choosing your side hustle? How do you choose which one? Well, that's a, that's a great question. I think it goes it back with. Question. I think it goes back to your interest for me. It's uh, your interest. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you're doing a side job, I think it's something that should be something that you enjoy doing. And, you know, like you said, uh, like music, uh, I, I met, I, I know this one guy uh, back in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, his his job, he was an engineer, but he had retired and now he's a drummer. He's oh, yeah. doing that, got a, got a fan club. So I think it's doing things that you enjoy your interest because I think, so if you get more into uh, building your skill set, you know, if you can't cook, please, please don't cater. <laughs> At least not in my, that's me. Yeah, so that's it right. needs to be something, I mean, you can aspire to, but it's really something that you're interested in and, and you want to give it, you want to give it a try. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Maybe you got some, maybe you got some formal training uh, that you're not putting, putting to work on your job. Yep. You know, you learned how to cook. You know, you went to cooking school or, or uh, chefs training, and uh, you could put that to put that to work for you. Maybe you've got some additional interests or hobbies that that you've learned how to scrapbook, or you're you're a good typist or a good organizer. You know, you you plan parties for all your children, your family's kids. Um, 
you know, try to match your, your side hustle to you and the situation that you might be in, you know, the time that you have, uh, the people that you know, look, look and see what the opportunities may be. And, and Dr. Jack, I'll tell you something, man, a sad, a sad hustle can really knock you for a loop. I'm going to give you an example. At my church, uh, we have this uh, gentleman, uh, uh, Dr. Spider, mm-hmm. and he's the minister of music for our whole church. I mean, he he plays it. Uh, he, he has all these great entertainers come to the church. And I thought the guy had a doctorate in music. Right. He's he's he has a doctor. He doesn't have that's something he does on the side. He's really a I think he's in education. So it doesn't <laughs> have so it's totally something different. That's so right. that's one of the things that's right. fun about a side gig. It does not have to do with anything. Uh it can be, but it doesn't a- actually have to do with your paid gig. It'd be something totally, totally different that's gonna really shock <laughs> that's right. shock your family and friends. That's right. That's right. Nice. I know both of you prepared some examples. So we've broken it down into categories, right? And you both prepared some examples of some side gigs some side hustles. So why don't we get into that? I know you have some slides. So I think Dr. J wanted to go first on that. Yeah, there we go. So we're, this slideshow is entitled, 100 plus home-based businesses. So we put our slides in this and we've got a number of emerging market trends. You want to start that off, Dr. D, as we... Yeah, just, just, just quickly, uh, I, think it's, I think it's very important to, to look at trends. Uh, like last year, if you, were, if you were locked down, if you didn't have an online presence, you didn't exist. Also, it means being mobile, embracing technology, understanding data, and network, networking and community. Those are the five emerging trends that you need to, to consider uh, when you start in a side gig, Dr. J. Got it, and then, got it. Sets so the stage for, yeah. for our uh, first category, a health and wellness coach. And then advising. And so maybe your, maybe your interest is in advising and you've got experience in health and wellness, or you're a personal trainer. You know, maybe your daytime job is not nursing or healthcare, but you've you've gained some additional training. And my nephew um, is a uh, works in a restaurant. His side hustle is is personal training. So he's a uh, yeah he's a trainer, and he uh, advises others on you know on their exercises and and their health in general and eating. Um, he's a, a type one diabetic. And wow. so he also advises others on, you know, the, their eating. So he's a, he's a, you know, full range coach on, on health and wellness and advises in that regard. So advisement, you know, if you've got experience in any field or training, you know, you can get paid to advise others. Um, if you've got a good reputation, and, you know, Dr. J, I have a question yes. about your uh, your family members. So does he do that online? He does it or... online, Lindsay. Okay. He does that online. Since COVID hit, his he uh, basically his restaurant shut down, and even when they've when they've come back to work, it's come back on a scaled basis. So what he did, you know, during this COVID time is is train for that personal training and, and nutrition coaching. And um, and has put that, you know, put that to work for him online. And he started nice. oh some six months ago, uh, but he's uh, he's doing well. And that's something he always had an interest in, you know, exercise, health, and health related uh, advising. And uh, you know, it's it's he's a different person. And, and Dr. Jack, let, let, let's be honest. How many of you know somebody who has COVID pounds? We got a name for it. The the, oh. co- the COVID pounds. <laughs> Man. So. Uh, That's because, not the truth. Yeah, because of the, because of the situation, a lot of the gyms are closed down. Yes. And so uh, your you mentioned about your your nephew is actually doing a re- remote. But I think coming to the house, coming to the home, especially a fluent family, you uh, you got your, you got your trainer uh, coming in, coming to the home. Of course, you got your mask or you social distancing in their house. But I'm saying it's a great I mean, it's a great opportunity. And I was just looking at. Dr. Jack uh, and, and Lindsay, uh, our little secret 
Secret Side Hustle book. If yes. You might want to get it. Uh, uh, the Ultimate uh, Side Hustle uh, book uh, by Elena Varon. But uh, one of the things she talks about that that having health and a wellness coach, you could you could you could make as much as a hundred dollars an hour. Oh my goodness, that that that's that is, that serious. That's that's serious uh, chatter on uh, on these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so serious chatter it is so advising you know it could it could be business consulting or this health and wellness um you know uh, put your hobby to work for you you know if you have some expertise in something somebody wants some help with it you know whether you do it online or or you do it in a face-to-face fashion uh, if you've got knowledge somebody's looking for knowledge and you know you may be able to find uh you know, personal references to help you find that work, someone that you know in your family, someone that you know, you know, from uh, from work or, you know, your professional contacts, you know, any number of things could get you into to this advising business. But the bottom line is finding something that's that can that you can turn in and make it a profitable experience for you and having the tools that are necessary depends on the the type of, uh, of um, side hustle that you're looking for uh, as to what kind of tools that you're going to need for that job. But that's one category. We promised you some more categories. So the next one, hey, <laughs> <laughs> the next one's the administrative or office. Broad category. And, and let, me, let me take this. You got it. I just want you, I just want you to think about this. Yo, it's, it's Valentine's Day and Perfect. you got this beautiful gift for your significant other. <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest with you, I am like awful. I am an awful gift wrapper. Oh, yes. I, I am awful. And you want this thing wrapped and you go to, you go to uh, a, a exclusive uh, exclusive jewelry store or place and they tell you, we don't do the wrapping. Right. That is a hot, that's a hot item right now. I think year round, especially Christmas, if you, if you know most, like in the old days, uh, you had uh, uh, these, I'm gonna date myself. Uh, Dillard's or uh, certain uh, Selma Brothers, uh, uh, other kind of uh, stores. They had they had a department. They would wrap your gifts. You can't you can't you can't get anybody to wrap your gifts. I just think it's a great opportunity. I like gift wrapping uh, opportunities. I think this I think it's hot, and I just think it's it's one of those things that's really undervalued, but it's very much needed. Yeah. And- how do you start? I mean, how do you let people know? Like, hey, I'm really good at gift wrapping. Like, pay me to wrap all your Valentine's Day gifts, Christmas. Like, how do you advertise that? Man, I, I got an easy one there. I, I think we start with social media. You put that thing on Instagram where you can demonstrate. Like, you could be on, you could be on, I like uh, YouTube, have a YouTube yes. channel, or uh, Facebook Absolutely. Live, and you wrapping gifts. You wrapping <laughs> gifts and you're sweating and you talking to people. And I just, th- I think that's something that you can use social media to really, uh, to really bring that thing out. I think that's, that's a, that's something you can do within your sphere and you could really, uh, you could really make, make, make a lot of money. Absolutely. That's good. Yep. Other things that's in good. administrative and office, got? you've got in, in this category, just look at, you know, this, just the gift wrapping, you've got party planner, you're good planner and organizer. You know, tell your friends, I mean, you know, help your friends. They'll tell others, you know, you'll, word of mouth will get a lot of business in party planning or personal assistant. You know, many people need help today, personal shoppers, you know, the old, you know, elderly or, or those who are, are uh, you know, susceptible to COVID or other reasons they don't, they can't shop. They're busy. You know, you can uh, fill that void for them, be a personal shopper, shop for their, you know, for their uh, groceries or their clothing or other things. You know, friends can uh, help you there. All you need is some transportation, uh, you know, use your your uh, your skills at organization, you know, any number of things that that can be done here in administrative and office. If you've got typing skills, maybe you uh, transcribe for others or a doctor or for you know, some people that are, that are, uh, are, you know, have, uh, aren't able to type or organize or, you know, uh, do a lot of things that, uh, that others can do for them. So the personal assistant, you know, $35 and up, um, lots of different things here that, that we're doing things that others can't do. And then we're getting the word out, you know, via social media or, or, or videos online, you know, or just word of mouth. 
and, and personal connections. So moving on to the next. Nice. Yes, sir. Hey, let, me, let, me, let me get you right here. I, okay. I'll, give you, I'll give you a couple ones, Lindsay and Dr. Jack, I think are hot. Yeah. You, 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 somebody Bring needs it. to get their pit. They, you might get to, need your pen and pencil or your, or yes. your smartphone. First of all, the first one I'm going to mention is a Zoom moderator. Oh, Someone yeah. Someone oh, that yeah. moderate, like we could use, we could actually <laughs> use somebody to, to moderate this as we go moderating it. You're answering, you're, you're filling calls in case we have uh, people that's online. We have 100 people on there. We're doing it live, uh, <clears throat> making sure everything's set, making sure our, our background looks wonderful. Although Lindsay, Lindsay has an amazing background that, I'm, that I, I really appreciate ha her having that. The other one is, think about Facebook Live and YouTube Live Instagram. Having somebody set that up, uh, organize okay. it for you. Uh, I just think I just think that is just a hot area uh, to have. And I, I just think if we think outside the box, these are things and areas that are that are needed. And that's what we need. That's why we go with uh, marketing. We try we try to reach needs and wants. So, uh, excellent opportunities for anyone uh, who wants to wants to broaden themselves. And turn up maybe turn a side hustle into the hustle. There you go. Mm, yeah. Let's you hear people one. doing that all the time. You bet. Ooh. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Here we go. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Call <laughs> Grubhub. That looks yummy. Call Grubhub. <laughs> Personal right, so, chef. So I'll so I have a friend. I'm going to give a shout out to Caroline Thomas. She actually is a civil engineer with a master's degree, but she went back. They gave her fits at the depart at, at, at our at our job because she wanted to go back to school and for culinary. And she is a incredible chef. She has put on in, in Tennessee. She has put on she has put on affairs, uh, uh, parties, uh, and she caters. And she she does this out of her passion. Just imagine not going to Mickey D's. Uh, I'll go again Valentine's Day. You're not taking you're not taking your significant other to to Mickey D's or to a local restaurant. You actually because of COVID again, everybody's locked down. You go to you bring you bring that person into your into your house. They prepare a gourmet meal for you. Oh, what an amazing feeling! And so if right. you're a person that loves to cook, bake, that is re that's really about being creative, being creative and, and, and utilizing what, what you have. Uh, what, what say you guys, ladies and gents? You know, a couple of interesting things that I've I've heard that people make that make money on the side in, in terms of being a chef is that they they cook for others, you know, and that they and they cook their meals and have a, a, a plan. Uh, meals for someone that's that that works long hours yeah. so they you know rather than yeah. buying uh you know buying frozen dinners and in, in, at the grocery store yeah. you have meals that are that are prepared and and then you could put away in the freezer in the refrigerator and you've got a you know your schedule of of well-prepared gourmet meals yeah. Yeah. that are there i mean that's a that's a great thing for you know for someone that 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 needs that service and and the demand's out there and moderately uh, priced. You can right? get, you, I mean, because you can, yeah, this person can cook for, you know, uh, multiple people, you know, so they can, you know, prepare meals and, and easily, easily do a number of clients. Yeah. Or you can have them come in your own home and, and, you know, that sort of thing. But many of them will, will prepare the meals uh, in their own kitchens and, and bring them to your home. So. Ooh, that's, that's a really. That's a good I, idea. It is. Like you, have, you have a price on that. I, I think you can. They have down here. You can earn uh, thirty dollars or more. That's it, 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 it easily. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Easily. Nice. Know a I know a guy that that uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, in Arkadelphia, Arkansas, he started a uh, candy uh, candy store in his in uh, in his uh, kitchen, Andrews Candy, and uh, <laughs> he uh, he was a he had been a professional golfer, but he couldn't putt. So he had to find a way to make a living. So he he started making uh, pecan brittle, which is not something you always it's not it's not common peanut brittle and all different types of chocolates, and it really took off in that area. He did so well that he he was at one time it, it became his part time hustle, then it became his full time job, 
Then he even was sending uh, candies to the White House when Clinton was was president. Oh, okay. That dates it a little bit, but I thought that was kind of an interesting story. Yeah. He turned that into a and and that business is 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 uh, booming and still in operation. Yeah, I, I tell you another wow. one, Doc. I, let's let's stay on this food kick. Yes, but let's. Yeah. You, can, you, can, you can tell. Oh, you can tell I'm hungry. Making me hungry. Uh, back when I was a, when I was growing up, we used to have. Uh, I'll just say uh, Sister Sister Bunchy, and Sister Bunchy would make pound cakes, and she would bring them to the church, and she would sell them. Then we had somebody else who used to make. I, see, I'm gonna date myself. Used to make tea cakes. I know y'all oh, ain't yeah. heard of that oh, tea I cakes, <laughs> and they used to sell them. So you could be, you could make, you could be a, 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 a you can bake goodies, and you can. And yes. We have we have somebody at my church in Oklahoma City. That person brings. Uh, it's it's really a sin. I know we at the church, but they they bring these butter uh-huh. homemade butter cookies that melt in your mouth, and I think he sells a, a dozen for like five or ten dollars. And to be honest with you, I eat them all by myself sometimes, and you know maybe I can give my wife one, and I eat I eat the eleven. <laughs> but that is that's just another area that you could within your network you can you can grow you can grow that bakery business, you bet. the catering business. Uh, you mentioned the chocolate. There's actually you can make you can make homemade fudge, homemade chocolate, and you can you can sell that thing in in your in your communities. And what I say right now, don't don't get into don't get a don't get a a brick and mortar place. The whole key, as we talked about, the trends is mobility. Right. You know, drive a car, go to their house. Uh, you want you want to keep you want to keep your over you want to keep your overhead low. So. I, I am very hungry. Great, great, uh, great, uh, great, uh, great ideas, Doctor Jack <laughs> and Liz. I'm hungry now. All right, let's Those move. Those are creative. They're making me hungry. <laughs> Entertainment. Here we go. Hey, that's uh, that's my uh, cousin, cousin Bill and cousin Becky. They uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have a smile, but being a, being a clown. You know, don't let and 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 when I was in uh, working, well, actually, I was doing a mission trip at, with my university, and we went to South Africa, and the highlight of the day for most of those most of those eight hundred students were me, were me making balloons. Oh and yes. Tw- so that is that is something I you, believe can, it. you can turn in that. And now you know I already had a clown face. I mean, I didn't have to wear no makeup, but I'm saying that yeah. is, that is that is fun. You're doing a lot. You're making people happy, and so uh, that that is just. I, I think being a clown slash balloon twister. I think that's a, that's a great side gig. What what do, what do you guys think? Oh yeah, entertainment's you know necessary, and I can see where you're talking about being a being the star of the show. You know, anytime you see somebody that that that's a clown or, or entertaining, you know, music. You know, mu- use your musical skills. It, it may be something that you don't do on the job every day, but, you know, maybe you can sing, maybe you can dance, maybe you can, you know, play a musical instrument. You know, places are looking for entertainment all the time. Um, I think entertainment's a great, great side opportunity. Especially, especially, if, you can, especially if you can sing. Just oh. think about a singer, a singer gram. Now, I have never seen it, but I did see it. I think I saw it on uh, Seinfeld. Where you have somebody yes. go and they sing, they sing "Happy Birthday." Yeah, that could be that could be a nice a nice smooth thing for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or even birthdays. Have somebody go in, they dress up, dress up like a you know like a clown or, or or somebody else. Or, well, I'm in Tennessee, so I dress uh, dress like Elvis. That 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 would go well, especially in Tennessee. We, there we, we go. Yep. He's he's still living. I, you know that he is still living. Oh yes. Uh, so great. Okay. You can Anything, hear that what's one? next? Let's see. Well, look. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> hey. That that is a uh, so so. You got you got criminals. You know you ain't paid your you know you ain't paid your light bills. You got. Uh, you have uh, you have uh, parking tickets, so you go. We're gonna be a bounty hunter. We're gonna go after you, and that that is 
And just like, just like, uh, what's his name? Dog? What's his? That's I think the dog. Yeah, the I'm dog. trying to think of his name. Yeah, so he's dog the bounty hunter. So you could, you could, you could, you could do that. Uh, you got make sure you got good insurance. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of risk involved in this one. Yep. A, a, a lot of risk, and a lot of risk in that. So that's a. That's funny though. It, but it's but it's an option. It's a real option. I mean, you know, you could people make money. This guy made a, a fortune do you know doing the bounty hunting. Then he made a show out of it. Yep, that's true. You know, come on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we he took his job and, and and made a uh, reality TV show. And what that that this guy's a marketer. Yep. So so kind of kind of I want to kind of lean on this entertainment right quick. Sure. What about what about being a game show contestant. Why not? Get on, oh. get, on all, get on all the shows. You know, make a deal. Let's make a deal. Family Feud. Well, I guess you yeah. have some Family Feud, but that you know, you could you could take the earnings that that you make. Oh, uh, I don't know. If we have too many of those in Oklahoma, but I mean, that might go be on, a go on a trip, question. right? Go on a trip. If you're out in Hollywood or Los Angeles, and where those where they film those shows, or in New York, maybe you make a little bit of money when you're on vacation, right? Good idea. Oh, I, I, vacation around around your game show. I, I got one that's I got one crazy, but I, I know all people in Oklahoma and people in the in the probably the uh, West can appreciate. It's a hot <laughs> balloon. It's a hot air balloon chaser. It says this person sets up the balloons and follows them after they launch them and recovers them. How about that for gas? Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to find that balloon after it gets Somebody's lost. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> oh, hey, my goodness. See, hey, literally anything and everything can be a make, side hustle. Yes. Yeah, they got to give you gas money. You only going to make $10 or $15 per hour. So you might want to get some, might, might want to get them to negotiate some gas money when you're doing that. Right. That's right. Shall we move from the dog? Hey, dog. Move from the dog. From the dog. Now, who's this guy? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And what's right. he up to? I got I gotta share I gotta share this with you guys. Here, here's my story. So 2012, my daughter bought uh, bought my wife a gift certificate for a ballroom class. My wife had told my daughter she always wanted to do ballroom dancing. We had been married for 30 years. I did not know that. So my oh. wife went went out and she went to the class. I would not go because Dr. Jack, any any manly man don't don't do ballroom dancing. Right. That's right. But God touched my heart and I started going <laughs> and I started liking it. And we started doing we started doing showcases with the local studio and we started going around the country, two or three different states, Georgia, compete doing competitive ballroom dancing. Okay. How about that? So so when I got to the university and the university that I that I, that I attend, uh, they they don't they uh, it was a long time before they started allowing dancing on campus. I'm just gonna put it that way. Means <laughs> they'll probably laugh. So I came in 2016, a, a near fight from uh, Tennessee, and I started. We started doing ballroom dancing in the class, and in, in, uh, uh, I used to host it for uh, the students. And then for the community, I went to a local community uh, uh, technology center, and they allowed me to put on a dance. Nice. Now, uh, when I first started putting events on, I thought I was going to get 10 to 20 people. We had over 100 people show up. Wow! And from there. Somebody started calling me up. I had a person from the Visitors Bureau said, I got a couple. They need to they need to know how to do wedding. They want to, they, they're planning for a wedding. Could you teach them how to dance? I said, I, I'm not certified in that. But uh, be, before before I know it, I had a couple come to me and say, we don't care. We want you to do it. We'll pay you anything. And so I started, I started, I started doing a, one private lesson, and the guy was gonna pay me whatever I wanted. So what am I saying? You can turn something that is for fun and you can make you can make a side gig so they call me i'm the dancing doctor now the dancing nice. doctor nice yeah. nice. But I, nice but i still i still do be i still take business serious it's just like something to do but it's, it it really opens up uh you meet different people you you you, you engage in some other things and, and for students they get to see the lighter side of of you besides giving them giving them grades that's right the that's lighter right. side <laughs> So that's how something you can, so that's how it's easy as taking a class or something and you're getting good at it, becoming proficient in it. People are willing to pay for it if you if yes. you if you find the right area and the place that I'm in, 
it's it's uh, not close to a major city. I probably 30, 30 minutes. So having something like that is is, a, is an opportunity for people to get out and really enjoy themselves. And again, it's it's easy to get started if if, if you think about something that you're really interested in. Yep. So let you said. And... Sorry, Doctor J, you go. No, let your skills and interests guide your choices. There you go. Amazing. Go ahead, Lindsay. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Well, I was just going to point out something that you said, Dr. D. You said, oh, well, I'm not certified in that. So oftentimes when we think about a side hustle, we think, oh, well, I'm not certified. I don't know. I don't have a degree. Right. I don't have a certification. So if the person's willing to pay for it, I mean, they'll pay for it. Talk about that for a second, if you will, both of you. Uh, so I think I think it goes back to building building a skill. So, so with me, I, my focus is beginners. And so for most beginners, the first thing they need to do is what is the first step? And so that's where I'm at. So I tell them if you want, you learn how you want to learn how to compete and something else. But I, I get I I kind of focus on beginners on encouraging them to get on the dance floor. I think have it, there's something that we say in the industry, uh, there is riches in niches. So finding the area that you can you can master in, and, I, and that's why I kind of focus on just getting people out there, beginners, to have fun and enjoy themselves. And I think that's that's really important that you so you can you can gain expertise. One of those is you, you, you go to school. The other one is you have experience because you've right. done it before. And, and that that's really that's really the key thing. So it's not just one or the other. I mean it's could be one or the other or both. What what say you, Dr. Jack? Well, we've got to recognize what um, what the legal requirements are to do the things that we want to do. And so we've got to make sure that we we know the laws and regulations and that you know uh, we follow those and so that you know but then again you know you got to know your customers and what you have to offer them and so knowing what the requirements are uh, you know can uh, can set you up for 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 success you got to manage your risks can pay your taxes but uh, ultimately you know it's it's about you know finding that thing that that others want and need and and being able to deliver on it or help, or maybe you're the, maybe you're the go-to person that connects other people. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you know, this guy, I know Dr. D, he, he does the dancing lessons, or I know uh, Lindsay, she, you know, her, her, uh, she and her husband uh, take care of cattle. They may be able to help you, mm-hmm. you know, with, with some of your advice on, on the farm, taking care of your, you know, taking care of your farm, managing your farm. They've learned a lot and they know what to do. So maybe you're the connector. Maybe you're that, that consultant that, that knows, and can make money, you know, through through recommendations or or uh, consulting fees. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Now we're we're right at 20 minutes, and we okay. like to keep it under 20, you know. So before we go, why don't you give us a sneak peek, Dr. J, Dr. D, of what's coming next segment? Hey, Liz, you can unshare, unshare your screen, Dr. Jack. You can Got it. Man so we can see each other. Sure. How about that? So, so what's amazing? So I think I think you can be amazed. We're just we're just uh, we're just scratching the surface, uh, Lindsay. Uh, one of the I things know. I hope that we can talk about is what about an Airbnb? What about renting? What can what can we rent? What can we sell online? And I think I think that is just a that is just a uh, you know let's say that's just scratching the iceberg uh, to, uh, this this period I, I'm looking for more you uh, know that's just kind of the nutshell. What's what say you, Doctor Jack? Well, you, just like you were saying, selling things online. Look at Sapatos, that shoe company. Um, the founder of Sapatos they 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 were buying their shoes to sell online from their local retail stores. They're buying shoes at Walmart and other places, taking pictures of them and sell them online. Nothing illegal about that, but they were just reselling them online. And then they got to the point that that's, that they really made a business of that. And it was one of the larger shoe company or, you know, one of the larger sellers of shoes, um, you know, in our country. So lots of opportunities out there. You just got to find, you know, the customers, you know, build the contracts, you know, monitor and manage your money well, revenue and expenses, all those types of things. Understand your taxes and, you know, put together a schedule, manage your time well, help others manage their time well, uh, but mind your money and make some money on the side. 
because you don't know when you're going to, you know, maybe you want to, maybe your motivation is you're going to go on vacation. Maybe you want to buy a new car. You want to pay cash for that car. You don't want to, you don't want to go into debt, you know, for that next purchase you make. So you, you know, you want to find something you can, you can uh, turn a profit on. So just look around and, and talk to people and, and just be observant, you know, and put those skills that you got to work. There's so much stuff out there. Well, thank you both. And don't forget, viewers, drop your comments, drop your questions on YouTube, and we'll, we'll get to them next segment. All right. I guess that's it for tonight.